calculate the force in member D J of the whole roof truss illustrated this picture neglect any horizontal force at support at first we are going to calculate the forces on support consider this picture let me write it again For example, it is free, but it can be fit by the diagram. At this point, and from this point, we have forces. Let me write the yellow. A. G ten ten and ten. No F by zero G Y plus A by 10 plus 10 plus 10 kilo newtons and sigma m for example g plus 10 multiply to 8 minus plus 10 Multiply to one, two, three, four, and ten multiplied to one, two, three, four, five. Minus a five multiply to Multiply to twenty Kilo Newton GY So we can make a section to calculate the DJ. DJ is this part we can also use the joint method in starting with this point. But with the section method we have a simple way. Consider the first section, section I, section one. At section 1, 
we can make a momentum on A so this force and the JK force line action cross the A we have only three forces for this momentum point then multiply to four plus ten multiply these two force and C J C J multiply to cosinus theta sinus theta to the distance theta is equal to the Theta is tangent inverse CJ on KJ. CJ can be calculated with this relation for the DJ on. AJ equals to CJ on AJ. DJ 6 AJ equals to 3 multiplied to 4. CJ Anna and KJ 8. KJ four four and four we now can calculate a CJ CJ equals multiply to cosinus forty five multiply to twelve the force compression Consider the picture again here. We are making a lima mg j. Likewise, plus j12, 10, 4, 10, 8 and CD cosinus Plus CD sinus alpha. This is alpha. Multiply to the distance here to the alpha. 
alpha is tangent inverse. So we can go here let's see the tension compression that in this then direction is the opposite of our assumption now we are going to calculate the now we calculate C D and J K can be calculated as this relation J K equals to C D cosinus alpha minus C G cosinus theta. J K can be calculated. We now we got going to calculate D G from the another section. In the another section here, we got the unknown our unknown member D J here. To calculate the detail, we are going to, we should select a point that eliminates the unknown moment. So, G point is a perfect point. Our unknown DJ apply to 12 plus this is eliminate this is also eliminate and cj cosinus cj sinus theta minus cj sinus theta in 24 multiply to 12 plus 10 multiply to Plus 10 multiplied to 20 minus DJ can be calculated and is kilonewton T. 